Hey guys, Jimbo Robin here, and today what I have for you is some more Plunder Pirates gameplay. Today's episode 6, and so we're doing is a lot of cool stuff. Uh, so I have some stuff to talk to you about in the game uh, that they pretty much released, and some other really cool stuff that we're going to be doing. Uh, so first of all, guys, they introduced this thing called Arids, I think. Arids or something like that, I don't know what to say it exactly. Uh, but you can pretty much earn a uh, Grug. Uh, gold, uh, battle points, and EP just really, really fast, which is really good. Uh, by simply just doing, like, these little things, they only take 10 minutes. You require a few things, of course. Uh, but they are relatively easy to get, and you get them, uh, pretty fast, which is good. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, this is definitely, this, like, this is definitely gonna help me out a lot in the future. It also helped me a lot now, because as you can see, I'm at, uh, pretty much, uh, 250, uh, uh, sorry, 260 EP, and I only require 250 to get my newest thing, which is pretty much the, uh, the lighthouse, which I want to get soon, and after I get that, I can upgrade my ship, finally, uh, and when I do that, I can get a lot of cool stuff, uh, it gets more hit points, the range increases, uh, more damage, so that's gonna definitely be able to help with my base, also for people who are wondering about my plunder pirates, uh, like, where I build pretty much the pirate hall, um, I'm going to be making a Pirate Hall uh, 3 like video soon because I pretty much have everything done, um, which is going to be really cool. So definitely make sure to check that out. Also, my clan is finally a little bit more active and stuff like that. So I got some uh, pretty cool troops. I don't know exactly what this troop is. I, I want to test it out with you guys uh, and see what happens. Uh, and yeah, there's really nothing else after that. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. We're going to go ahead and find a base and we'll go ahead and attack it. Uh, because I definitely want to find a relatively good base that, uh, that, um, like, I want to find a base with pretty good loot, so that I could take that loot, uh, and then use it for pretty much, uh, like, pretty much to upgrade my base, because we need a bit for, uh, what's it called? We need a bit for, uh, pretty much the lighthouse and everything like that, so... Uh, yeah, we're just pretty much getting it from here, so hopefully you find a good base. Uh, you know me when I want to find bases. I want to find a base that has, uh, relatively good loot and stuff like that, like I said before. So, um, yeah, we'll just look at a few bases. Hopefully we can find one, because I'm really low. I only have one, uh, pretty much, uh, point up there, as you can see by my name. So there's not going to be that much loot. Not a lot of people at, uh, pretty much a high rank will be, will be in this level, will be at, uh, a bit of a higher level and stuff like that. Um, so it doesn't really look like there's many bases. Uh, come on. Let's see. Uh, this one, it's not the best. I'm hoping for more loot. Uh, a lot of loot. Uh, I'm just going here. I'm wasting so much gold, though. Uh, this one is e is a e it's a nice base, but like... The loot's all in the middle, though, which I really hate. That's, like, the problem. I hate when loot's, like, concentrate in the middle. Like, what I like is when they have the loot's on, like, the sides and stuff like that. So what you can simply do is just send some troops there, grab the loot, and then pretty much when you do grab the loot, uh, you can, uh, like, just grab the loot and just get a, get a bunch of loot uh, really easy, which is good. So we're probably just going to attack. So we'll do a few more of these because I don't want to bore you guys with me trying to find this. Um, and then, if I can just find what, oh, I thought, I thought that was actually going to be a good base for a minute, because it, like, looked from a, pretty much, if you, like, look at the base, uh, it looked a little bit better, uh, so let's see, uh, they're all, like, under 7,000, which is the problem, so you need one with, like, 20, now to, like, take any base, even if I have to, like, raid it, uh, oh, this one looks actually good, we're gonna raid this one, uh, the only reason why is because all the loot's on, like, it's all concentrated onto one side, so they're gonna go ahead and test out, uh, these guys right here, I wanna see what these guys do, okay, so they go after loot, okay, that's something to know, I never knew that, I never knew that they did that, um, so they're probably really efficient at getting loot. I should have probably not have done that. Uh, I just had no clue what they did. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and use that ability there. We got these guys here just taking everything down. So we should be able to just uh, let our troops go over here. And these guys are helping us out a lot. Uh, so if we just steal that loot. Uh, so he's just got a bunch of his loot in the storages and stuff like that. We got another one over there. So hopefully my troops uh, turn 
turn on an angle over there. I'm just looking around here. So we got a cannon over down here. Uh, oh my god, all that damage. This is crazy. I should really get more troops that can support. Um, because, oh my god, no. Oh my god, we just lost a ton of troops again. I hate when that happens. I do the raids, and then the problem is I don't have... I don't have, like, enough loot for the raid or whatever. Like, I don't get all the loot I hope for, uh, which is the which is a big issue. So, hopefully these guys can take that, um, this, like, uh, the ship. And then after they do take it, we should be good uh, because it's almost destroyed. And then I think they, they'll both just split into different quarters and stuff like that. Uh, and then we should be good. Uh, so, we'll just pop his ability again. Uh, and you should be able to just get those gold mines. Probably should have set some for the gold. Uh, but that's alright. Uh, no, he's going down that way. He should be going down that way. Now that guy's dead over there. Oh, that really sucks. Uh, boom. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, so let those guys do that over here. And then I'll lose this guy down here. Oh my god, do we have another four? Or... I have no clue how this works. Uh... Okay, so I guess we have none left because... It's not letting us do that. I thought we could get more of them or something like that. Uh, but it doesn't look like we're getting any more. Uh, and the chances are we'll get, we won't get that. So we're just going to surrender there. Uh, I was hoping for more loot, but that, that's all right. That's all right. We're, we're good there. So let's go ahead and train some more troops up. Uh, this time we'll try to train uh, more of... These guys are pretty good, actually. I like them. I'll train up a few of those. We'll train up two... We'll put these guys down to four. We'll train up two of these because they're good at pretty much um, pretty much protecting the troops and stuff like that. Uh, like the tanks and stuff like that. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and attack again. After after this attack, what I'll do is we'll go ahead and pretty much... Um, well, that would actually have been a good base to attack. I'll pretty much just use the loot. Uh, we'll get a lighthouse and then probably by next episode, uh, I'll have like everything done for the town hall... Uh, designing and stuff like that. Also, guys, if you need a town hall yourself, uh, sorry, a pirate hall, why am I saying town hall? Um, if you need your own, like, pirate hall, uh, base design or whatever, uh, be sure to, uh, check the links in the description. There's, like, one for, uh, pirate hall one, two, I think, wait, do, I think I have one for two and three or something like that, or one and two, uh, yeah, I have, I have one for one and two, uh, because I just made one for people that, uh, that don't have that much already, uh, so... Yeah, let's see. Uh, we'll just go over here. Looking for a really good base. Nobody, no bases have loot anymore. Like I, for me, I, I, I was getting up to so much. I was thinking about getting another town hall, like upgrading my town hall. But I'm like, oh no, I have to. Uh, I want to upgrade everything first before I do that. Uh, so yeah, we'll see this. We need about like ten. I think we need uh, twenty. No, we need uh fifteen. Need 15k loot, and then that should be good. Uh, but then what we can do is, uh, I'm just thinking, I'm thinking what we could do about the loot because we probably this is gonna probably be our last attack, so we do have to be, we have to be a little bit like we have to get 15k loot no matter what in this attack. Uh, so I'm just looking for anything with 15k, and then oh, this one has 13k. Um, uh, loot's all in the front. The cannons are all in the front, which is good. Uh, I think I could take this base, to be honest, so we're gonna try it out. Uh, can we just send our troops over here? I think we can just send them right over here, so we'll just send them there. Um, and then what we will do is we will just send these guys back here, too. Uh, and then after, we'll see, they're just going out of the water, uh, they're going out of the water right now, which is good. Uh, so we should be able to just send them in there. Uh, we'll send these guys over here to seal the loot. Uh, girls, I meant to say, and these gals over there, and then these guys should be able to block that damage while our troops come over here. Oh, no, we have to get rid of uh, the uh, pretty much the problem over there, so we'll activate this, get the troops higher. These guys are taking, those girls, I meant to say, taking that loot, which is good, so, and then we can set our troops over here. Um, well, it looks like they're just doing it themselves, uh, so they're taking out that side there, uh, and then if we can possibly... Get them just to take down, uh, oh, we didn't get all the loot, unfortunately. The raids are a little bit harder than, uh, than before because they're just always getting harder and stuff like that, which is definitely a problem. So we'll just let him hopefully take down that structure over there. 
uh, and distract them, and then we can get these guys over here. Oh, no, they're getting sniped, unfortunately. Uh, but, yeah, they'll take a little bit of the loot. Um, and then, yeah, it looks like it's set. Oh, there he goes, and he dies. And, oh, do we... No, we don't have any troops over here, so where's the rest of our troops? Did we get any over here? Uh, don't know where all the rest of our troops are. Uh, I have no clue how to use this. Is it like a little slide thing? Uh, and I don't see anything being destroyed, so I have no clue um, like where all our troops are, which is kind of weird. Uh, if I can just send these guys over here. It doesn't look like it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We have them. How did... Oh, like that. Oh. Oh, my God. I messed that up. Okay. So, you, like, you drop... You click on them, and then you drop them. Okay. That makes a little bit more sense. Uh, I We may be able to actually get the structure, which is pretty good with these troops, because they are really strong, which is good. Uh, so, that's going to definitely change the fight up a bit. Uh, hopefully, we can get it. We got 35 seconds left. Come on. Come on, destroy it. Yes, red. These troops are actually really strong. I want them... A lot. We can't place any more, though, which really sucks. Um, so we just have... I think we have two left, or we have one left, or something like that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Destroy it. Destroy it. No, we can't get it, unfortunately. I probably should have set them on this side over here, and they could have stole all that loot, though. Oh, that would have been kind of smart, actually, but uh, no, we didn't, unfortunately, get to do that. Uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead and claim our rewards over here. Uh, and then just redo these guys again. So what I do is I just go down here and see which ones I can pretty much do. Uh, and if I can, I'll just start them. Uh, because there's no limit on how many you can do, I believe, which is good. So we'll collect the rest of this loot over here. And then hopefully that is enough. If it isn't, I'll probably... I don't, I don't believe we can do another raid with C. Uh, but, oh yeah, Lighthouse is 85k. Um, which is good. I thought it was 95. I'm just like, oh, 95k, no. Okay, so we'll just build the lighthouse over here. That's going to take 25 minutes. Uh, so you'll probably see the next episode uh, for our gold that we have to spend. I'm thinking I, I we can't upgrade this because it requires part hall 4. Uh, we got a level 6 cannon, which is cool. So I think I want to make these guys level 6 too because they look really sick uh, when they're upgrading and stuff like that. Uh, and then when we do to get the lighthouse, I'll be able to upgrade that. I'm kind of thinking I want to upgrade this. Just because I want to get, like, extra five pirates and stuff like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that right there. Uh, and then, yeah, we pretty much have everything looking good. We can train troops. That is sweet. I love how you can train troops uh, in their wealth being upgraded, which is really cool. So, we'll just train some up for later. Uh, but, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, guys, be sure to hit that like button. And if you only enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to apply to Jimbo Evan Craft Never for 70% random share, guys. But that's me, guys. This has been Jimbo Evan, and I'll see you guys later. Uh, and one more thing, guys. If you want to get a ton and ton and ton of pretty much gems in uh, Plunder Pirates or just gems uh, in Clash of Clans or Boom Beach or any in-app purchase, uh, slash iTunes gift card. Be sure to click the link in the description to Cash for Apps, which is a way to get pretty much all this stuff by just downloading apps. When you download apps, you pretty much, like, you first download, uh, you click the link in the description, and then what they do is they pretty much get you to download apps. When you download those apps, what happens is you pretty much get points, and what you can do with those points is you can trade them in for iTunes gift cards to get you guys a ton and ton and ton of pretty much gems and stuff like that in this game. Uh, or just any in-app purchase in general. So make sure to click the link in the description. But that's me, guys. This is Jim Eleven, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.